stats you find someone that um, basically you're in love with or you want to get married to them that is the girl and then uh, you take them to your family you introduce them <laughs> in some tribes this introduction it's not a big ceremony and in some it's a huge ceremony actually in Uganda introduction means something quite different it's a huge ceremony also looked at as marriage but in Kenya introduction is basically when you bring him home at least in my tribe it's when you bring him home and your family gets to know him then in my tribe which is um, Meru after you've introduced the person you wish to marry like you've brought him to meet your parents he'll come back probably with um, his family a little later and he will proclaim <laughs> his desire to marry you and the bride price negotiations will start now after they've settled on the bride price there will be a day I guess <laughs> for giving the, the bride price that you will bring the bride price that has been requested so basically right now in this age you can give money cows goats or like household stuff depending on the family of the girl they can even ask you to give them a piece of land a car sometimes for the father it really depends for the kids that are you know single parent from single parent home I find that there's not like a huge demand you know of things if you come from a single parent home for example if I remember correctly my cousin did enough to I don't know what he paid but I know that he did enough to pay that much I also know that someone else in my village the neighbor her potential betrothed basically was a husband right now they brought like two cows a male and a female they also bought the father I guess a kind of a farming tractor and a bunch of other stuff but the man comes from a family that's affluent and the girl she has both a mother and a father alive at least in my tribe it depends also if both of you come from both you know a full family unit when I say full I mean your father and mother are still alive in some way in my tribe if your mother and father are both alive that makes the bride price somehow more because you're giving to both parents you know and both parents from the man's side are giving anyways also it depends on who raised you in many cases before it used to be that you give to uncles the male figures in the family but these days since most kids are raised by other people in the family let's say if your mother and father are both dead the money will be given to the person who raised you or the dowry for example in my case my father was not present in my life he's still alive but I have met him literally like once all my life so my husband he gave um, a bunch of stuff and um, that includes money and other stuff to my grandma and my auntie who are the people that raised me in essence my uncle is supposed to get something but then we didn't give him anything because he didn't write me he wasn't present in my life so it just would be unfair <laughs> to not give the women who raised me just because it's culture so with that things have indeed changed from the way they used to do them like in the 70s or 80s you know or 60s